If you want to open packs or own a team like this, then go and get your coins from UT Coins for you down in the description. An instant automated coin delivery service and use code CAPGUN for 5% off at checkout. You right, guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to episode number 40 of the Road to Royale. Yes, episode number 40. We are so far into the series, I didn't even know that we got so far. It's just gone so quickly. Anyway, we've managed to sell everything from the last episode. We've now got 3.126 million coins, which means that we made about 126,000 coins from that trading, uh, sort of like trading session, because we had 3 million coins exactly when we started it. So that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Anyway, clear that out. Lewandowski, team of the season, sold for the amount we wanted. Uh, you know, we sold Zuma, Hart, team of the season, Ramsey. And now we can dive into the games. Now, in the last episode, we had a one Wonderful time. It was absolutely amazing. We won all of our games, all four of them. We won the Division 1 title. So if you missed that episode, go back and watch it because it was absolutely incredible. Um, anyway, let's hope that we can replicate that today. It will be very difficult to do so, but I've got my fingers crossed. Anyway, the team we're coming up against, 4-1-2-1-2, BPL side. He's got Surridge in form at right mid. He's got Azpilicueta at left back, uh, the team of the season version. Then he's got Van Persie and Aguero up top. Looks like a pretty average BPL side, to be honest. You know, decent. But I had a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Like, honestly, everything that could have gone wrong in this game did. I just lost the ball from my defence so many times. I just literally fed him um, the ball on the edge of my box and just let him score. It was disgusting. Anyway, managed to pull it back to 2-1 in the 32nd minute with Ronaldo over the top ball. And, uh, yeah, then he managed to go further into the lead. 3-1 with a header from company. Again, get through this time over the top ball that Isco. Isco scores it to make it 3-2. We managed to kick off glitching from the half-time whistle. And, uh, yeah, we managed to make it 3 all, which was good. And I was like, OK, now we're back in it. We can uh, sort of, like, sort of plough forwards and hopefully score some goals and win it. Now, uh, I didn't expect this to happen because... He just started scoring. It was like everything he touched turned to gold and it went in the back of the net. Made it 5-4, but he just kept on destroying me. Every ball going through. And uh, you can see there it's 6-4. And it doesn't even finish like that because it comes off a pause and I wasn't concentrating. And I passed it straight to him. And we end up losing 7-4, which is probably the most goals we've conceded in a single game in the entire series. So that is not very good. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can forget about it kind of quickly because that was disgusting. Let's, make, let's forget about it by making a signing. Now I tried to buy this James Rodriguez. Things again, not going right for me. It said error buying player, but actually it let me buy it. So I went to buy the next one because obviously they were low buy nows. And uh, yeah, I went to, <laughs> went to go and store it in the club and now I've got two James Rodriguez. I was like, what on earth is going on? Anyway, um, I decided that I would try and make profit on one of them. Uh, we bought them both for 25. Going to try and list one of them up for 27.5k. Uh, no, sorry, 37.5k. We bought both for 35k. Um, so that will mean that we'll get our money back on that card just about um, and make just a tiny bit of profit as well, I believe. So that's not too bad. Um, and then, like... I was like, okay, there's that one gone up. This is the better one of the two. So I stored that one in the club. And then as I went back, I found another James Rodriguez, which had been li listed up for even cheaper, for 32750 I was like, I'll just buy this one as well. So I ended up buying three transferred James Rodriguez in the start of this episode, which is just so dumb um, when I only really wanted to buy one of them. But, you know, sometimes you've got to do some opportune trading if you get the chance. And we did get a little bit screwed over by the fact that it didn't tell me that I'd actually bought a player when... You know, I had. So there you go. We're going to list up this James Rodriguez as well uh, for 37. Well, in fact, I think I list this one for 36k because I was like, yeah, I can still make profit if I just list it for 36k. 37 and a half k was a bit optimistic. So uh, there you go. We've listed that up, and uh, he is obviously going to be put into the squad in the centre attacking mid spot. We're going to give him a try, see how he does, see if he's better than the inform Isco. I've got my fingers crossed because obviously he's a very cool player to play with. Uh, everyone loves um, talking about him at the moment. He's hot property, and uh, it's good to have him in the team as well. Which would have literally just signed him. So we can put the kit number on him, which he, of course, is number 10. There you go. The kit number is now exactly right, I believe, on every single player, which is good. And we can now give him the check mark on the checklist. So there you go. Signing complete for this episode. And we've completed all the gold columns now. Um, we had completed them previously, but obviously there was, um, well, they sort of decided to release transfers and stuff. And I'm pretty sure there'll be more transfers in uh, in the coming weeks. So that'll probably extend the series even further. Anyway, the team we go into against is uh, 
well, it's a 4-3-3 team. Uh, Germany, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty dangerous. It's got like international man of the match, Müller, Schweinsteiger, Hummels, and stuff like that. Um, but we did take the lead. Benzema, good work there to make it 1-0. And then we made it 2-0. Uh, Sergio Ramos doing the Sergio special from the corner, putting it in with his head. And then I was like, okay, cool. And, uh, and then things started going sour. Um, <laughs> Royce just absolutely tore me apart. Look, as soon as he realised that Royce was going to cause me problems, he just started, you know, giving it to Royce over and over again. I don't know how he managed to get past Carhaval there. Carhaval just is so bad on his feet. He just doesn't really do much. And unfortunately there, we get punished for it as uh, he manages to equalise. And then he scored a corner to make it 3 team with Miller. Although I did manage to equalise and it was Ronaldo that did it. And this guy was such a knob. He was passing around the back. So I uh, decided to shush him. And no one likes to be shushed, but he deserved it. So there you go. We managed to make it 3 all and walk away with a point and our tail between our legs because we were 2-0 up. And you really shouldn't be throwing away 2-0 leads or 2-goal leads at any point in any game. So there you go. Now we've gone away and done some trading. Again, we've bought that informed Di Maria. We've already given the check mark on the checklist. We bought him for 626, listing up for 686, which is uh, about 30k profit after tax. Um, we've got a Schneider here for 97,000. We're listing up for 107,000. Kaka that we bought for, well, let's have a look. How much are we buying for? 97,000 coins. We're going to list them for 119. So that's going to be 15k profit after tax, which is awesome. Really good return on that player. Moreno, 266, we bought him for, listing up for 2 86 for a slender like 5k profit 7 or 8k profit I'm not really sure um, we got a legend we don't really trade with legends very much but we put a sharing them there for seven, uh, 400k roughly listing up for about 460 um, then we've got loads more players we've got a team of the season Godin uh, the team of the season Godin that we picked up for 216 listing up for 236 so again another 10k ish profit I'm trying to work all these out in my head guys so like I do 10% and then half that 10% um, so again 22 you know whatever for the tax and stuff so um, there we go more profit on that Buffon I tried to explain it but I explained it so badly Inform Modric that we picked up for 244 listing up for 266 um, we've also got an international man of the match Hummels the one that just causes so many problems for 270 listing up for 295 also got uh, Mehdi Benatia here the second informed version of him for 82k listing up for 92k uh, Di Natale second in form Absolutely insane. So many cards. Um, we got for 157, listing up for 170. We also have um, a Inform Sterling at left mid. We picked up for 90k, listing up for 99. Uh, we got two more. An international man of the match, Godin, as well, that we picked up for. Well, let's have a look. We got him for 67k, listing up for 74. And then finally, to finish it off, Thiago Silva, second Inform, that we picked up for. Well, let's have a look. It's the 89 rated one for 247, listing up for 267. So another 10k profit there. Managed to spell and spend all of our coins. We've only got 8,000 left. And as you can see, we've already managed to sell one of our cards, um, plus the two James Rodriguez that we bought earlier. They both sold on. One were for 38k, the other for 37 and a half k. So that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, everything's looking hunky dory. So here we go into our final game of the episode. It's a long episode, this one, and uh, we're going up against the 4-1-2-1-2 BPL side. It has got the two centre mids in it rather than the two wide players, so it's going to be very central. Got to uh, sort of expose the wings, I guess, is what we're really going to be trying to do in this game. And uh, as you can see, we start off the game by going behind. Ball over the top to Eto, and Eto volleys it in. So that's not a great start. And then we managed to equalise. Lovely goal from Bale on the edge of the box. Just absolutely smashed it with his left foot into the bottom left-hand corner. And then we managed to go... 2-1 up. I was like, yes, we're in the lead. We're in the lead. We could win this game. Well, if only for a couple of minutes because then uh, ball going over all of my players and a fantastic finish from Nasri there on the overlap. Bring my man from the uh, sort of like through ball and we end up going behind again. 3-2. Eto this time scoring a chip. And then, yep, yeah, keeper didn't make enough of that one. I think he should have grabbed that one out of Eto's feet and after that it was really game over, especially since Sergio Ramos just went to sleep. He didn't even try to um, take that ball off him. He literally just let him walk into him. Did manage to get one back. Too little, too late though. And we end up losing another game. So coming off the dream episode where we won four games to uh, end up losing two and drawing one, it's not brilliant, but, you know, whatever, that's that's FIFA for you. Sometimes these things happen. Uh, we're not looking good. I don't think we can win the division title now. Or if we can, it's going to be really difficult. We'll have to win all of our remaining games. But there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time.